Hi Aries, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your reading for the month of October. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Now, if you don't believe in tarot readings, this reading's probably not for you. If you're in a happily ever after relationship, nope, not for you. This reading is typically, you know, I typically focus on love readings. If you can make it fix something else, then so be it. I am having a hard time speaking today, so bear with me. May not be your reading. Keep that in mind as well. Slow and steady. Slow and steady. Taking steps in the right direction. Being practical. Things may seem like they're a little chaotic right now. You may be a little overwhelmed by something. You guys are thinking about your past, it looks like. It's like your past is definitely on your mind. could go all the way back to your childhood or something to do with your children. Um, it feels as though... I mean, here we have, we have this magician, which is... manifestation but it's also power so it's like this is awareness it's like you guys are you have your it's like you're awake and you've woken up to something something has really shown you You know your own power in some way it's like you're aware of your own power you're aware of it hmm. Ooh, contradictions we gotta love that yeah and I was gonna say this is the alchemist but I stopped myself I stopped myself from I should have just said it I should just said it because you definitely have an, an alchemist here, okay? It's like you guys are transforming. You're going through some sort of transformation, becoming like a whole new person. This is this is alchemy right here, okay? You're turning into something that you never were before. You know what I mean? It's like you're becoming a much more balanced um centered it feels almost like free spirited as well individual highly awakened at this time it feels like you guys have went through some sort of awakening Ooh. now remember this is for the whole month of October you this may not resonate until the end of October so come back and watch it later you know, you can save it and watch it later because it may not resonate right now. Somebody is is finding their strength. Okay, they found or they they found their strength. They found strength. They found courage to take steps in a new direction. So it feels like you guys have been through a period of serious evolving. You know, you guys have evolved and taken action to shed some of your old ways your old self you know I think that you guys have been through a period of worry you've been through a period of probably despair okay you may feel like you are being haunted by something maybe you yeah you know, maybe you feel like somebody's been watching you from the other side or something but it feels as though You've been haunted by something. It could be the memories. You could be haunted by regrets, memories of who knows what reason. But I, I do feel like there is some sort of memories here that are causing you some grief. Okay? And I feel like at this time you need to find that strength to, to let them go. You know, if they're bad memories or they're hurtful memories, find your strength to hold your head up high because... Whatever has happened, you know, happened for a reason, okay? It did. 
it did. So you got to look at it like, you know, there was a lesson to be learned in it. It happened. There's nothing I can do about it now. So anyway, um, with that chariot reversed right next to that two of pentacles, it's like there's a uh, decision that needs to be made whether... You want to keep headed in the direction you're going, or if you want to turn around, go back. And with that chariot, that's that's like, do I do I go back? Am I gonna go backwards, or am I gonna go move forwards? I think you're going you're you're going. Through, there's a peer, there's a feeling of indecision here, and I think you're trying to make a really practical decision as to which direction you want to go. And you may have gone through a period of loss of direction. Okay. So I think right now you're trying to make a decision. What way do I want to go? Do I want to do I want to stay here or do I what 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 what? Okay, what's what's next? I think you're trying to figure out what's next. You are probably trying to avoid any disruption, you know, you're trying to avoid upheaval in your life by staying in a situation that is safe but probably not moving you in the direction that you absolutely want to go okay now there is an opportunity to complete something okay the ten of cups this is a completion now maybe you're this is um something in the family so there could be a you know this is the end of something um the storm is almost over okay so happiness is coming if you've been going through some sort of storm you've been going through some sort of Perhaps family issues. I don't know what this is. But it feels it's something in that is, it could be relationship as well. Family or relationship that you're going through something that is completing. It's an ending of worry. It is. It's the completion of worry. It's the completion of something that you know I think it's a permanent phase is ending in your life I do with this ten of cups because this is like a permanent love I think you guys have been involved or you were involved with something that had permanency but that permanency is it's it's like it's no longer permanent, okay? It's like it's it's falling apart because you've evolved. Do you know what I'm trying to say? It's like you're not there anymore. Being stuck in that situation that you were in made you lose your direction. You know, there's a, there's a lack of ambition to keep going in that direction. Whatever this thing is that you were involved in, this family dynamic or relationship that you were involved in, it was like it was... It's almost like you you knew it wasn't going to it wasn't what you wanted but you stayed in it anyway whatever this is um there is a lot of worry there's a lot of worry and you may be see this and this is this is you may be worried about a relationship really really worried about a relationship worried about stability worried about how somebody is going to take care of themselves I don't know if you're worried about a child or worried about somebody but you're definitely worried about a relationship okay you're worried about there something not being successful but I don't think you really have anything to worry about because there's a there's there's success here the magician uses all of his resources his own magic okay he uses his own magic to be successful okay he takes action all right he can manifest he's whatever he wants he has a divine connection it's a oneness and i think that you guys are you have evolved into a new awareness that is showing you a, like a new option but you have to take that step you know what i'm saying despair course so this is the eight of cups reversed so you're you're thinking about leaving a situation and you're being called to, to take your time and really be patient with your decision okay you're, you're thinking about 
leaving something behind. And, you know, it could be your, you know, you could be thinking about moving. You could be thinking about turning away from family. You could be thinking about, you know, break, severing ties with, I don't know, could be even children. You know, that shit does happen. So, you know, or relationship. You may be thinking about, you know, if I do that, how are they going to get along? Something like that. I feel as though... You're trying to keep things stable and structured and secure, but you can't do it alone. You can't do it alone. So, you know, I feel like you guys are considering, you're going, you may be going through some sort of midlife crisis. You are. I mean, it feels like some some of you may be going through a period of loneliness and and despair. And but the, what's really happening is you're evolving, you're changing, you're you're transforming. Um, now there could have been some sort of with this hermit, there could be some sort of rejection that has caused you to isolate yourself. Okay, you may decide that to, uh, to, to, you may be thinking about isolating yourself from your children or your family members. I mean, I'm just saying that does happen or from some relationship that has really caused you to decline. Something I think has caused you to decline, you know, it maybe even health wise or willpower wise or strength wise and you need to find your strength and your courage and your willpower to deal with whatever it is that's that's haunting you to deal with this relationship um yep there's a i mean with the empress reverse i don't it's like you don't want to deal with the pain you may be feeling some pain right now but you don't want to deal with the pain now this is a lack of this is a lack of self worth. This is a lack of self love, lack of abundance. So you may be feeling like right now you're not getting what you deserve, and you may feel like you're being smothered. You may be feeling like you're being smothered by another individual, or you're dealing with somebody who's who's feeling smothered. Okay. Um, there's a lack of growth. It's like there's no more growth here. It's reached its its point of, you know, there's an absence of growth. And somebody is really thinking about why. And, and you know, yeah, there's no growth. No growth again. There's a lack of happiness. There's a lack. There's a. It's like there's no more fertility. Okay. There's no more fertility in one situation. And it's not. And you're unhappy about it. I think you're unhappy that you have to let go of the old. You know. You're unhappy that you have to. You have to move on. And I feel like you are. I think that you have to move on. Because something is causing you too much despair. And. It's hindering your growth, okay? Something is hindering your growth. You're going to have to... The, now, the strength card is, is strength. You find the strength to let go of something that is hindering your growth. And, you know, it's hindering your your happiness. You have the ability to change it. You do with these two cards. You can change this outcome at any time. You absolutely can. But you have to find the courage and the strength to face your fears, okay? To face some sort of pain as well. Because the Empress becomes the Empress through pain. She does. So it's like, I don't want to face this pain. I don't want to deal with any upheaval. I don't want to deal with any disaster. I don't want to deal with this rude awakening that is coming. It's coming. Has to be dealt with. That birth is going to happen sooner or later okay you can't really prevent it you might be able to prevent it for a little while but you can't prevent it forever okay so I feel like this is a month where you are probably going to you're being called to face your fears in some situation because you haven't been 
You haven't been mastering your emotions. It has to do with some sort of relationship, whether it's family, children, or love. There's a relationship here that is definitely haunting you, okay? It's it's causing you to lose sleep. It's it's like, oh my God, I, I'm really worried about this. It's affecting me in a negative way. Some, so, some sort of relationship, whether whoever it is, is affecting you negatively, big time. And it's affecting your growth. It's affecting your your own happiness and you have the power to change it at any single time but you gotta let go of those fears that you know nobody if, if i if i sever these ties who's who then i'm gonna be alone you know that's a fear okay there's fear of of loneliness don't let that fear hold you back from doing what you need to do for you you know what i'm saying <clears throat> destiny okay that's good luck is on its way a brand new chapter one chapter of your life is ending okay this is the wheel of fortune when the wheel spins it's a change of course that is destined to happen at this time so whatever is happening that is causing you some grief which something is causing you some grief whatever is happening is happening to change your course for the better, to bring you something better. But the, the, the true lesson here is strength to face the pain. Once you do that, whatever this pain is, you know what it is. I know that you know what it is. It has to do with severing ties because that word has come out of my mouth a couple of times. Whatever this, this pain is that you have to deal with is going to bring you something good. It's going to bring you, you're going to win out of the situation. It's going to be a win-win. All right? So whatever is happening is, is going to push you on to that next chapter in your life. But before you can start that new chapter, you have to find the strength to deal with something that isn't, that you don't want to deal with with the tower and the empress reverse it's like you're trying to avoid it but avoiding it is causing you a lot of despair it is because you know that it has to be dealt with you can't sleep like this you can't sleep like this you know it. sooner or later it has to be dealt with this is the nine of wands this is about power it's about regeneration you know I feel like you guys are You know, it's almost like some sort of light. Okay, see all that light in there? Seeing the light. It's like you guys are seeing the light. You are the light. You have the power. You have the power to light up this whole room. You know, you do. There's that, there it is, there's that power, okay? Now we have the magician twice. This is a totally about power. It's about you guys finding your power. A lot of power this month. People are taking back their power. You may even end up on the news. I'm not sure what this is, but you could end up on the news. I just see these news stations, you know. Just saying. I mean, you never know what could happen. But 
I don't know where that's coming from. But anyway, I feel like you guys are definitely being recognized in some way. I do. I feel like you guys are going to be recognized for your strength, for persevering through something. Um, I think you guys can handle a lot, and you have been handling a lot. You may be moving as well. I think that some of you are, are moving. You're considering a move. And you're definitely juggling a lot right now. I think that you're really, really busy. You may be overwhelmed with all the things that are going on. We definitely have a major change, of course, in which you guys are being enlightened in some way. And I think it's moving you in a new direction. I really do. You could, Like I said, you could be moving like moving, moving. Getting up and moving like getting out of here. What's that? Is that like a heartbeat back there? It's a graph of some sort. It's not a heartbeat though. It's like it's got goals. Some kind of goals. Mmm. <laughs> This is the Seven of Pentacles reverse. It says failure. Something is broken that can't be put back together. And you may feel like it's a failure. But you, there's more. There's more. All you've got to do is just go get another one. Go get another one. Something is shattered. So it feels like there's some 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 sort of something is shattered. I'm, gonna, I'm not sure what this is. Fell right apart. Something didn't. The hell is this anyway? I mean, this is a broken glass that has shattered into pieces. It's it's beyond repair. It is beyond repair. You can't even glue this shit back together. There's too many pieces. It's in shards, okay? It's cut you and make you bleed. So I think that you guys you guys have a major change upon you. In which you're, you're being called to keep going and don't look back. Don't look back at whatever failed, you know. Don't look back. Keep walking. Because this failed for a reason. There's a purpose. Now, this Wheel of Fortune is a card of purpose. Everything happens for a purpose. Something failed and fell apart because you needed to find your strength and your power. And your, uh, you need to wake up and work, realize how powerful you are. How your awareness, it goes all the way back to up here when I was saying you, you, be, you become aware of your own powers. Now, that's what this is. I mean, this is a divine connection. Maybe maybe something fell apart so that you could become stronger um, spiritually, you know, to awaken your divine powers, okay? Because for some of you, that's exactly what this is. It's like you guys have gone through some sort of awakening, about how powerful you really are. I mean, powerful intuitively, you know, uh, psychically, whatever the case is for some of you. Um, I think that there had to be this failure so that you could wake up, so that you could really dig deep to find those resources that were going to change your course for the better. Because when you have to dig deep, and you have to find that power. That's when transformation happens. So I feel like you guys have been taking baby steps in regards to this transformation. Because this is a kind of transformation, but it's not allowing it right here. Baby steps in regards to making some changes in your life for fear of the unknown. 
fear of, you know, if I go this route, if I move on, if I sever these ties with whoever it is that I got to sever ties with, will I never have anybody in my life again? You know, will I be lonely forever? What if nobody likes me? What if I end up alone? Well, that's not, that's just a fear, okay? That's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Um, this is the Ten of Wands. Oppression. Wherever you're at right now, it's too heavy. It's overwhelming. And you're not happy. And you have to come up with a way to get out of it. And you're going to have to face your fears. You're probably going to have to face some struggle. You might have to, you know, who knows what you're going to have to do. But for this tiger... To get out of this cage, he's going to have to, uh, well, I don't know, he's going to have to come up with a plan. But <laughs> I would say that, you know, if I was him, what would I do? I would I would charge. I would charge. They'd open that cage and I would be like, you know, I'd pretend I was sleeping or something. I'd wait till there was only one of them. And then I, I don't, this is, I don't know, this message is coming out for you. But, you know, I would wait until there was only one that came to unlock the cage, you know, and they came in to give me their food, and it would be over. I, I tried not to kill them, but I would get out of there. You know, I'd find a way, find a way to get out. You know, you got to do what you got to do. Uh, otherwise, you know, they're in control. This is about, t again, taking back your power. You have to find a way to... Free yourself from the situation that is holding you back from your own freedom. You know what I'm saying? You guys are in a situation that I think you're ready to get out of. You know, but you have to you have to face your fears to do so. You know what I mean? Whatever that is. I think that you're in a situation that is awakening you. Okay, it's awakening you. You're, in, you're evolving, but you're still trapped somewhere. You're trapped. You, you need to release. You need to free yourself from something completely. And this is a 10, okay? So I think there's ties that need to be severed here. And they're probably going to be. So I think that that's what this month is about, is severing ties with somebody or members of your family or a member or a relationship that is no longer fertile. And it's going to be painful to sever the ties, but... Whatever, whatever this is, it's like holding you back from your healing. It's holding you back from happiness. It's holding you back from your success. And there's an opportunity for a lot of success here. Where you're in charge. I don't know what the hell this is, but I think it's about severing ties. It, which, it, and it will bring you, there's a change of course, it's going gonna, it's gonna to bring you like vitality, okay, it is. When you, when you do, whatever this is that you've got to free yourself from is going to bring you vitality, it really, really is. Okay, with the Wheel of Fortune right here, it is. It's going to bring you something that is so much more in alignment with Your own power, you know what I mean? Your own strength, your own self. It's going to make you feel good, really good. It's going to improve your health. Wondrous universe. Walk in beauty. You live in a beautiful and wondrous universe. You are a beautiful being. Take time to see and cherish the wonders of life wherever you go. It transforms your life. There is a remarkable beauty within you. Simply acknowledging it allows it to surface even more. The time you take to create beauty in your home will manifest in your life. In native traditions, walking in beauty means to honor all the natural cycles of life and to experience a sacred communion with the Creator in all things 
including oneself. Now, both of these magician cards, obviously both of them, but are oneness. Oneness. There's always beauty around you and within you. The sacred traveler constantly looks for and embraces the majestic, wondrous universe in all forms. You can't hear it in the song of the early mount. You can hear it in the song of an early mountain morning bird. You can smell it in the aroma of freshly baked bread. And you can see it in the way of the clouds float across the sky. The more you seek beauty, the more it will find you. And the more you will find yourself in a beautiful world. Now, this is the last card in this deck. Okay, it is. It's, it's basically the world card. Okay, it's the completion. And this is a completion. And the Ten of Cups is a completion. And the Ten of Wands is a completion. Don't look at whatever happened as, your, as a failure. It was destined to go down just as it did. So that you could evolve and get to where you needed to be. You've learned one lesson. And now it's time to start on the next one. In a whole different area. That's what I see. Interesting. You never know what's going to come out. Talk to you next time.